Hello everyone! My name is Light, and welcome back to the lab. In today's experiment, I think we are going to build a zero-tick bamboo farm. This is a farm that I recommend everybody has in their world, because we can all use fuel and or scaffolding. Now this farm will give you many, many items per hour, and we'll do a quick calculation on that after we do the build and run the farm for a while. Alright. Any questions? Do you have any questions today, fellas? Now, again, this is your last chance, guys. If you've got no questions, right? Next time, you won't be here. Keep that in mind. <sighs> ah, well. All right, so if you hang on a moment, I'll get us over to the build site. All right, for today's build, we are definitely going to need a lot. And look, this one right here just happens to be for sale. So we'll go ahead and we will definitely take that. All right, now as for materials, you will need five pieces of bamboo, five sticky pistons, five regular pistons, one repeater, three redstone torches, a stack of building blocks, doesn't matter what they are. I like smooth stone because you will put some redstone on these so it's a little easier to see. You will need at least a stack of glass, uh, not quite as much, but you know, have at least a stack on you. You will need two chests, five hoppers, one bucket of water, one lever, 13 pieces of redstone dust, 15 pieces of sand, and an empty bucket. Now, the empty bucket you would have from, you know, your other bucket of water, and it's just in case you have a mishap and need to pick your water up again. All right, so I'll go ahead, I'll get this stuff in my inventory, and we'll get started. All right, so I have all our materials in hand, and we can begin. Now, the area that we are going to need for this build is seven blocks wide, by five blocks deep, by seven blocks tall. So again, that was seven blocks wide, by five blocks deep, by seven blocks tall. Now that we have that out of the way, let me get this out of the way and we'll get started. All right, so in order to begin, come around the side of the build, we're actually gonna start with our redstone clock. So go ahead and place a building block right here, put another on top, this is a temporary, and then we want a block coming off each side like this, giving us a T. Break the temporary so we're left with this shape. Come around the front of the build. And on the face of this block, this is where we want our lever. And then right below that, on the face of this block, we want a redstone torch. Next, grab your repeater. We're going to want the repeater on this middle block here with the arrow pointing this way. So place it like this, and you can leave it on one tick. Next, grab your, grab your redstone. We're going to want a piece of redstone dust right here. And now you'll notice that as soon as we place it, the clock did start going. So in order to turn that off, just flick the lever. Perfect. Uh, next, grab your building blocks. We're going to want five blocks coming off of here, going across. Just like that. Come around the back of those blocks, and we're going to want five more blocks starting here. So looking from the side, it should look like that. On those five blocks that we just placed, we're going to want our five sticky pistons. So the faces point towards the front of the build, like that. Now to power these pistons, we're going to need another row of blocks, starting here, going across. Then grab your redstone dust. We're going to want a piece here, a piece here, and then on the blocks going all the way across. And you'll notice as we do that, all the pistons extend. All right, so in front of those pistons, we are going to want our sand. So go ahead and grab your sand. Okay, so put one piece each like that. Okay, and again, come around the back of the build Next, we're gonna want a temporary block right here. Put a block on top, break the temporary, jump up on top of the pistons. On top of this block here, we're gonna want a redstone torch. On top of that torch, we want a building block. On top of that building block, we want another redstone torch. And on top of that torch, we want, you guessed it, another block. Oh. Just like that. Now off the side, of this torch we also want a block so go ahead and place it in like that once you do that 
you can go ahead and finish placing the rest of your sand. So you want two pieces on the top of each piston arm, just like that. Perfect. Now on the back of each piece of sand, or at least as many as you can reach from here, go ahead and place a block. Like that. On top of this row of blocks, we want another row. Like that. This is where our other pistons are going to go. And in the back of this row, we want another row of blocks. Like that. All right, so next grab your redstone and run that right across this back row. It should all light up like that. Uh, next, grab your regular pistons. We're gonna wanna place these on these blocks going across, but be careful when you do because they will extend. So just make sure you're standing off to the side so they don't push off. Now, when you get here, you're gonna wanna put a temporary block or two like that so you could stand off to the side and place in the last piston. Break those temporaries. And when that's done, it should look like this. I'll give you a look from the back. Perfect. Next, again, grab your building blocks. We're going to want a row going across this row of sand like that. And as an, as an aesthetic choice, though you don't need them, you could put a row coming in front like that as well. Okay. So next, get up on top of this row here. This is where we're going to need our chest and our hoppers. Okay. So standing on top of this block, jump up straight, put a chest, and then do the same on this one, and they'll link up to make it a double. Next, grab your hoppers. You're going to have to crouch to place these first two, or well, all of them, I should say. So we want the first two going into the back of the chest, like that. And then the next three are going to be going into that hopper. So if I get down, you should see that the three funnels on the last three are pointing in to hopper number four. All right. So now that we have that in, we can actually start putting in our glass. Most of this can be done from the ground. So coming around to the side of the build, starting with this piston, we want four pieces coming down. And we're going to place four pieces coming down right to the front of the build. Like that. Okay. So come around to the other side. Do the same thing. So again, starting at the piston. All right, like that. Next, we're going to want three pieces right here. Do it, uh, click on, well, to help you place them, make sure you crouch. So that way you're not going to open the inventory of the hopper. Next, we want a row coming right across the top of the chest, like this. And then we want another row starting at the top one. Now, I am leaving a space, and you'll see why in just a moment. All right. Now that we have that row in, we're going to need to pillar all the way to the top of the build so we can place the last of our glass. So starting at the pistons, we're going to want pieces coming all the way to the front, covering any open spaces. All right, so should look like that. Now when you're coming down on the temporaries, don't go all the way down. Just break two so you get to this point right here. Now I would suggest putting another temporary on the side, on each side here, just to help you with this next part. Now, the one thing I didn't mention in the materials and that I would make a suggestion for, and it's really more of an aesthetic choice, but it also has a function as well. You could put glass in right across here and it would work just fine. However, 
these farms are temperamental and they do have a tendency to break. If we leave the area, you know, and we leave them on or if we build it on a chunk border, it can randomly break. So uh, there will be times when we have to get in here and replace sand and possibly replace whatever we're growing. So in order to help you do that, instead of glass, I would actually suggest putting in a row of trap doors along here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll place the first three like that. And you'll notice that we can close them. Oh, let me fix that one. There, you notice that when we close them, it looks like that. So this way, we can easily access whatever we're using the farm to grow. Now before I put these two in, I'm going to put in our water. So go ahead, grab your bucket of water. And you're going to want to put this in with your cursor pointing at the side of this piece of glass. So when we place it, it runs across the hoppers like that. And then finally, put in your last two trap doors. So you can go ahead, flip those up, have a look at what it looks like. All right, so if everything is done correctly, it should look like this. And at this point, the build is essentially done. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to use the farm. So go ahead, pillar back up, open your trap doors and go ahead and plant your bamboo. You're gonna want one piece on top of each piece of sand. Just like that. When you have those in, again, close the trap doors. Break the blocks to get down. And finally, flick the lever. Now you'll notice that our bamboo starts growing pretty much immediately. So like I said at the start, this farm will give you a ton of items. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna let the farm run for five minutes and I'll come back and we'll talk numbers. All right, we are back. I have just finished letting the farm run for five minutes. So let's take a look in the chest and see what we got. Whew. By the looks of things, that appears to be 21 full stacks and an additional 35. So not bad. So I've already gone ahead, I've done the math on that. That is approximately 1,400 items in five minutes. Now if we go further, in an hour, we're looking at approximately 16,500 items. That is a lot of bamboo. Now, if you do plan on building this farm in your world and you're going to be AFKing at it overnight, I would definitely recommend having a lot of storage set up to be able to, you know, take in the output from this farm. But realistically, you could AFK here for an hour and have more than enough bamboo to suit your needs for quite some time. Now, if anybody's uh, going to be building this farm in their world and runs in, run into any troubles, please feel free to reach out to me in the comments below. I am more than willing to help anyone willing to give my tutorials a try. But on that note, that is all I have time for today. Once again, my name is Light, and thanks for stopping by. Bye!